Hello students, in the previous lessons, you have already learned about simple and compound interest as basic concepts in business mathematics. So for today's video, we will be learning another mathematical concept in business, particularly the concept of annuity. So you will be able to practice how to use the knowledge of basic concept of annuity, especially in loans and investments. So at the end of this video, you will be able to define simple annuity and solve problems involving simple annuity. An annuity is a sum of money that is paid in regular payments. Examples are regular deposits to a savings account, monthly payments of house rent, monthly retirement benefits from a pension plan, and even installment payments. One kind of annuity is known as simple annuity and it is an annuity certain whose compounding period is the same as the payment interval. For example, a deposit of 5,000 pesos was made at the end of every three months to an account that earns 5.6% interest compounded quarterly. So every three months is the payment interval and the compounding period is quarterly. And we know that quarterly is every three months. So this is an example of simple annuity since the payment interval is every three months and the compounding period is also every three months. And it is the same or it coincides. Okay? So there are two classifications of simple annuity. So we have ordinary annuity in which the periodic payment is made at the end of each payment interval. So from here, based from this example, from 0 to 1, this is known as our payment interval. So if you've noticed on the ordinary annuity, the payment starts at the end of each payment interval. On the other hand, for annuity due, this is an annuity in which the periodic payment is made at the beginning of each payment interval. Okay, begins at the start of the payment interval. So, so that is the difference between the two. So these are the formula to be used in finding the future value and present value of a simple ordinary annuity. Okay, so here, please be guided on the representation of each variable. So if it is FV, that is the future value. PV is the present value. R, the regular payment or the periodic payment. N is the total number of conversion periods for the whole term given by N is equal to T times M. T is the time in years. I is the periodic rate given by I is equal to R over M, where R is the interest rate and M is the number of compounding periods within a year. The future value of an ordinary annuity is the total of the payments and interest earned at the end of the term or time, while the present value of an ordinary annuity is the principal that must be invested today to provide the regular payments for the annuity. Here's the formula in finding the future value and present value of a simple annuity due. So we just um, added a subscript AD to make a difference from the formula of in finding uh, the future value of a simple ordinary annuity but in other variables involved it is just the same thing okay so in solving word problems it is important to determine which formula to be used so here are some tips so present value problems involve expenses or cash loans and then for future value problems that involves income or revenue okay let's do some practice Suppose a man deposits 12200 every end of 6 months in an account paying 5.5% compounded semi-annually. So the question is, what amount is in the account at the end of 9 years and 6 months? So this example is an example of a simple annuity since the payment interval, which is every 6 months, coincides with the compounding period, which is semi-annually. And we know that semi-annually is composed of 6 months. Okay? So, this is as we classify this uh, simple annuity, it belongs to the ordinary annuity since we are we have this keyword which is N. And we, okay, so let's identify the given from the problem. So we have here the periodic payment which is twelve thousand two hundred pesos. Rate is five point five percent or that is zero point zero five five. 
m is equal to 2 since the compounding period is semi-annually. And then, time is 9 years and 6 months. So as what I've mentioned, time should be in years. So we need to convert this full into years. So we have here 9 and then for 6 months, that is 6 over 12. And that is just 9.5 years. And then, we are looking for the future value, not the present because based on the question, that is we're asking what amount is in the account at the end of 9 years and 6 months. And that is and that focuses on the future value. So based on the formula, we still don't have any value for our I, which is the periodic rate, and our N, which is the total number of conversion periods for the whole term. To so solve I, that is equal to R over M, and it will give us an answer of 0 0.0275. And for N, which is the total number of conversion, that is 9.5 years times the compounding period, which is 2. So it will give us an answer of 19. So based from this information, we can now substitute this one to the given formula. Okay, so let's calculate this one. Can you get your scientific calculator? So we have 12,200 times... Have one plus zero point zero two seven five raised to the power of nineteen, then minus one all over zero point zero two seven five. Okay, and it will give us an answer of two hundred ninety nine thousand one hundred eighty point seven seven eight one. So let's see if our answer is correct. Okay, that's it. Okay, so thus the man will receive 299,180 pesos and 78 centavos at the end of 9 years and 6 months. Now, let's proceed to our second example. Find the present value of a series of periodic payments of 5,000 pesos made at the beginning of every month for 3.5 years if money is worth 9% compounded monthly. So this is still an example of a simple annuity since the periodic payment is every month and the compounding period is also every month. So it coincides or it is just the same. And the classification of simple annuity is the annuity due since we are we have this keyword here which is beginning. Okay? So let's identify the given from the problem and of course use the formula for present value of annuity due since we're looking for the present value. Okay, so we have here the periodic payment, which is 5,000 pesos. And then the rate is 0 0.09. M is equal to 12, or the compounding period is 12, since it is compounded monthly. So we know that there are 12 months in a year. And then the time is 3.5 years. And then our I here, or the periodic rate, is just equal to rate over M, that is just equal to 0 0.0075 and then we also have our n which is the product of our time and the compounding period so n here is the total number of conversions period for the whole term or for the whole 3.5 years we have here 3.5 times 12 which will give us an answer of 42 okay so let's just substitute this given information to the formula and then we'll just use our scientific calculator to compute this one since of course we can do it manually okay to solve the present value so we have here 5,000 times we have 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to the power of negative 42 so I am showing you how to do this one so that you will be able to input this numbers properly in your calculator. Okay, so it will give us an answer of 184,568.563. So let's check if our answer is correct. Okay, so that's it. So thus, the present value of the annuity due is 180,915 pesos and 56 centavos. So that's it for today. I hope you've learned something on the discussion of simple annuity. If you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to message your subject teacher. Thank you and see you in our next video.